What is up guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a cybersecurity professional and content creator. And on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity and other life stuff. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I recently quit my job as a threat analyst. But before I get into it, if you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing. It definitely helps with the channel. And I'm pretty sure there are tons of videos on my channel that are gonna be valuable to you if you're interested in cybersecurity. So please consider liking and subscribing. So let's get into it. So uh, before I say anything about why I quit, I just wanna say I'm really grateful for the position and opportunity to work as a threat analyst. Um, for the better part of my career, I've pretty much worked in security operations and my most recent job was of course a threat analyst and I'm grateful for the opportunity. I think it was definitely a great learning opportunity. I got the opportunity to work with some really amazing people, some really smart people. I had a really great manager as well. Um, I also had, you know, so a couple of great co-workers, you know, definitely people that I, I was happy to work with. So yeah, I also experienced a lot of growth at this company. So I learned a lot in terms of like skills. Um, and it really challenged me to really, really uh, push my skills to um, the next stage or like to a new stage, right? Because I, I love challenges. I love really pushing myself um, in terms of my, my skills and just, you know, myself in general. And it gave me the opportunity to, that, to do that. Uh, with learning new tools, learning new things, um, and just like a wide uh, range and a wide spectrum of different, uh, you know, uh, events or alerts or, um, you know, incidents, quote unquote, that I had to, I, I got to deal with. It was definitely a really, really good experience. Um, I also got to work with, you know, multiple clients. So um, the first client, a second client. So that was definitely another, I guess, like a broad experience as well. It also pushed me to build my skills in terms of like interpersonal relations. So like dealing with like coworkers or like dealing with like other teams, as well as dealing with clients. So dealing with clients directly um, towards the end of, of, of the job, uh, I got promoted to threat analyst too. And I was working with a new client where I was having to work on site in the client's office so dealing with the client directly in terms of like you know expectations meetings um, dealing with like you know project managers dealing with like security architects network engineers cloud engineers dealing with like different people uh, across various teams in the client environment was definitely one that helped me really build my interpersonal skills and in, in terms of dealing with uh, with um, customers and clients because in cybersecurity beyond just like your role as like a cybersecurity professional from time to time you're going to be having to deal with deal with customers right even if you're like in a company where it's like you're not like an mssp like my company you might have to deal with like maybe partners or stuff like that so having those interpersonal skills is definitely great in dealing with like different kinds of situations so that was definitely a huge uh, experience for me um, that I really learned a lot from. All right, so now to why I quit. Um, the first thing I want to talk about in terms of like being a threat analyst or a security analyst is alert fatigue, right? So um, this is, I don't think this is talked about a lot in the industry. It might be, I might just not know, but like alert fatigue is, is huge in the sense that as a security analyst or threat analyst, you're constantly dealing with alerts, right? And depending on the organization you're dealing with, depending on um, how your automation is set up, depending on different things, uh, depending on like, you know, how much, how, 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 depending on the volume of logs you're ingesting, there's gonna be a lot of alerts that you're gonna be dealing with. So, it, it, and it starts getting tiring, right? It starts getting really, really tiring. You know, you're triaging alerts, you know, on the daily, tons of alerts. <laughs> and like just that continuous cycle um, it's definitely something that uh, started getting to me um, in a sense that, you know, not, it wasn't, I guess I don't want to say it, it was a bad thing uh, because of course that's the job. That's what I signed up for. But over time it start it starts messing with your, like it starts affecting you mentally um, because you know, you're working day in, day out. Granted, when I first started, I was working four days a week. So I had like three days off. But those four days, you know, would usually be mostly like brutal, you know, except maybe like Sundays, which, you know, there's not much going on. But like during the week, there's a lot going on. And, um, you know, that alert fatigue definitely sets in from time to time. So one, that was one of the reasons why um, I, I, you know, really wanted to quit and also wanted to transition into something uh, different entirely. Another thing is, you know, I had some coworkers who were not, let's just say, as hardworking as I was. Uh, some people are, some people just slack, you know, right? some people just come there to get a paycheck and go home. It uh, doesn't really matter to them. And I'm not, I'm not like that. Like I put in like my effort, you know, and my energy into, into, you know, my, my job because that's what I'm getting paid to do. But some people just don't. And, you know, that was definitely something that I dealt with a lot. And in addition to that, some people just don't have the same level of passion 
uh, for cyber street um, you might have like depending on the environment you are in it's great of course to like talk about you know fun things like football or all of that fun stuff but it's like when you know the real deal is not really talked about like that like you know it's definitely like you know like we're cyber security professionals like can we like talk about cyber security sometimes another thing for me was also you know not seeing the entire incident life cycle so essentially um I got to only do the detection and analysis phase of the incident life cycle. So, you know, beyond that, we have, you know, containment, uh, remediation, all of the other steps, but I only got to do the, the detection and analysis phase. And for me, it was, it just really bugged me that I couldn't get to see the entire incident response life cycle. So of course, after like triage and an, an alert, uh, you know, triage and an event, and if it was like an incident, I would have to escalate to a senior analyst or to an actual incident responder who would go over the, you know, containment and remediation part of it. And I never got to see that. And for me, you know, I wish I got to see that. And that was definitely something that um, I loved about the blue team level one because I got to do the entire incident response life cycle. So that was definitely a good experience. And um, I wish I had gotten a opportunity to see beyond just, you know, the detection and analysis phase. And then finally, um, towards the end of, you know, working there, I had to work on site. Um, I personally made this decision because um, it was part of the uh, it was part of the requirements for the new client I was dealing with. So I knew I was going to be doing this, um, and it was just kind of you know a necessary evil, quote unquote. Um, so I was working on site, which was not a bad experience, really. Um, you know, working on site. I've never worked on site my entire career, so this was the first time I was working on site. Of course, I learned how to deal with people physically beyond just like you know uh, over Zoom or in camera or in Teams. So I was working on the client side physically, so I was dealing with you know the client directly. So that was definitely a good experience in terms of learning how to deal with clients because I definitely learned a lot from the experience. But of course, you know, going into the office, you know, three days out of five days of the week, um, I'm essentially losing time right i'm losing time in driving and you know uh driving tow driving fro um and just you know the office like <laughs> like working in the office is, is a different it's a whole different bo uh, ball game compared to like working remote personally i feel like i am more productive working from home than working in the office um just due to like certain facts like working from home i definitely feel more productive than working for in the office and that was definitely something i i I got to know about myself because I, you know, I've never really officially worked in office before. So that was definitely another thing. Um, but you know, I, I personally made the decision because it was part of um, the requirements for the new client I was dealing with, and I accepted that. So it wasn't like you know it was forced on me. It was part. Of, it was a decision I made myself, and also I learned from that decision. So it wasn't a bad thing, but it helped me learn uh, what I really like in terms of like working um, situations, either remote or on site. So yeah, that was that about that. In general, it was it was it was mostly a positive positive experience. The time I spent there was definitely great. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot of things, and it really helped me, um, you know, navigate the next stage of my career. Because one of the reasons why I wanted to transition into cloud was because I started working with cloud heavy environments with the customers I was dealing with. So I was like, hmm, I actually want to do cloud for real, for real. And that leads me to my next point. So you guys know I've been really big on transitioning into cloud for a couple of months now. I uh, made a video last year about my plans this year, about how I wanted to transition into cloud or cloud engineering or cloud security. And my plan was actually to do that in the third quarter of this year. But interested, interestingly enough, um, God made it so happen that I'm going to be transitioning into cloud this first quarter of the year, which is super exciting. You guys know I changed my degree from network operations and security to cloud computing. Um, I've been studying for different things in terms of like cloud, just learning, you know, various cloud concepts. Also recently started studying for my AWS solutions architect. So I've been really like immersing myself in cloud. I'm really trying to learn. Um, as a matter of fact, I, um, I was interviewing, I interviewed with AWS um, for a cloud position. So I've been really, really, you know, really, really working hard at trying to get into cloud. Um, and you know, my, I recently got a new job where I will be doing that, which is really, really awesome. I'm, I'm super excited about that. I work, I'll be working as a security engineer um, and you know, more on the cloud side. So that's definitely, definitely, definitely exciting for me. Um, I'm super, super excited for this new opportunity. Um, I, yeah, it's, it's super exciting. Um, I'm going to be working with some really, really amazing and really, really smart people. Um, and I just really love the company. Like from the interview experience, like it was definitely 
like I, I could just tell the vibe I could just tell like the culture was really really evident in like the people that were dealing with me and I just really appreciated that about you know this new company I'll be working with and I'm super excited um, I'm filming this video on Sunday I actually start tomorrow all right guys quick pause here I filmed this video four weeks ago and today is Sunday and tomorrow Monday which I'll be posting this video makes it the fourth week I've been working at this company so disclaimer right there but like it's gonna be different when you're watching this video but yeah um i'll probably be doing a video about you know my new job um of course i, I can't say everything i do but just trying to you know get you guys to know um, a little bit about, about that but yeah i'm super excited about that i think my cloud journey this year is up to a really really great start it's super exciting i also got accepted into the aws community builders program so that's definitely also super exciting um i look forward to making more content and learning more about cloud you know learning about aws and other you know cloud providers and you know things of those sorts so it's super exciting um i think you know my my goal to really transition into cloud was definitely a great one and everything has worked out so great for me in that regard and i'm super excited for the rest of this year and thank you to you all of you guys who have been part of my journey so far you know from day one up until now you guys have seen my growth my progress from you know everything i've been doing and i'm super grateful to you guys you know all of you guys who have been subscribing liking the videos sharing the videos super grateful to all of you all i truly appreciate you guys with that said thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please be sure to smash the like button and please consider subscribing i really want to get to 10k before the end of this quarter so i would appreciate you if you guys can help me with that with that said thank you once again for watching this video i will see you in the next video see you later bye